yo 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 I'm here an excessive amount of yo's what was I working on all right I had some stuff I was working on it wasn't actually painting but I am gonna paint feeling good tonight feeling absolutely just I mean honestly not feeling very energetic because uh, I did not get that much sleep last night. I woke up at six for literally no reason and didn't get back to sleep, but it is what it is. I got this sick new camera set up though. Check this out. This shit absolutely slaps. Move these over here for now. So, uh, I was just doing a little bit of work on this boy. Um, earlier. So I'm basically just clipping this off. These are the Longo McStrikos here. Oh, I'm trying to do this without slicing my finger off. Easier said than done. Really, I need to start painting some range units because right now I don't have any range units. So I'm trying to get these guys tuned up because there's three of them and they're a very high points cost unit so I can get my army army going pretty good. Is that the go for mix in chat? How it do, how it do. Is that the Alex Gopher mix? Tarkov Legend? Am I? I'm not even in the camera here. Give me a second. Let me move this back just a little. Let's pull this back just a tad. Now ah, we're talking. Let's see what I can do so that. Absolutely mangling myself. Uh, let me get a small scraper. This is a bit of a finicky one. Use a little small scraping knife for this just because it's kind of odd with these things. And the last time I built any type of archery and so snapping bows left and right because they got the real thin spindly bits on the ends. Definitely did a lot of re-gluing bow as well as building my vigilers, that's for sure. Yo, can you hear me by the way? Is audio all right? Almost definitely AFK. Neck deep in a interchange raid right now, probably. My microphone isn't doing that weird fart squeal it was doing the other day. It was making like a real weird noise the other day. I think it's just because it's sitting on top of my phone, but you never know, honestly. It's a three dollar microphone, so there's any number of reasons why it could just totally melt down. I ain't gonna lie, this new webcam app I got absolutely fucks. This shit's crazy, dude. The quality is so much higher.
Hell yes. Need my finicky brush. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna look at this. Our Vanguard Raptors instructions here. Already built the ether wings. We are building him. 16, okay, so we're gonna put these together and I need one more arm, which I think is like this fat arm here. This should be fairly easy to clean up because a lot of it will be covered by a shoulder plate anyways. This boy is chunky. Watch this, I'm gonna spend all this time like building and painting these Vanguard Raptors and they're gonna release, fourth edition comes out in June and they're reworking a bunch of Stormcast models. They'll probably rework Vanguard Raptors. <laughs> no, I think realistically it's gonna be, uh, they are probably gonna rework all of the old Stormcast, but I think it's gonna be Retributors. I think it's gonna be these guys. I think it's gonna be Liberators. And hopefully Retributors get some good rules because I think right now they're not very good. A lot of DPS, but very slow and not that tanky. Sorry, are you, um, are you streaming? Yeah, well, what's up? Do you mind pausing it for a second? Sure. Just yeah, just give me one second. Yeah, just give me one second. Uh, I think it's just Oscar in here anyway, but yeah. Well, if it's just Oscar, that's fine. I don't care. That's fine. I'll mute it. Okay. All right, audio's back, audio's back, audio's back, audio's back. Clean this out a little bit, just like that. We're zooming. All right, and I need my paper. I need to get a new sandpaper. So it might be time for a trip down to Yay Old Magic Stronghold. No <laughs> yeah, not while they have a tournament on. No fart hold. Only days where they are not having magic tournaments will I go to the Magic Stronghold. All right, sick, 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 sick. Now how am I gluing this shit on? Shit, all right, phase one.
Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Look at that. Now we got ourselves a little cross bow. A cross buoy. I'll clean all that up too once uh clean up any excess plastic once that's done done. Once that's just all dry. I think this should be fine to just put on. Absolutely it is. I very much like these long strikes. These are cool guys. Very cool. I was considering the, no, I was considering the possibility of magnetizing them, but I don't think it's worth it because they need different bases. If I, if I make them uh, hurricane crossbows, they have another build option with a, a rapid fire crossbow. But if I do that, um, I need to swap bases because they have like different bases. Excuse me, it's looking weird. I get it. So strange. All right, this one I gotta just. Whoa, excuse me. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do this too. Let's do this all at once and really get the really get the pose how I like it. This is almost always, let me tell you, this is almost always the wrong way to do this. The let's do it all at once has fucking caught me slipping many times with these assemblies. But I'm feeling like living dangerously right now. So we're just gonna go for it. I think that's fine. Actually, that's hella cool. He's kind of just like, shit, I'm going to hold that at a weird ass angle. Perfect. Thanks, Tanya. Very cool. Uh, one thing I just got to do is get a little bit more glue in here just to make sure that stays like on. Make sure we get a real good... Um, Real good join there, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Easy. Now I believe this is left shoulder and right shoulder. Bizarre. Now I gotta build the bird. I do like the birds. I think the birds are an excellent part of these models. Oh, he's even got bird feet built right in. Sick. I should probably mostly be focused on painting rather than building, but you gotta take a little break now and then. Only so much painting you can do. You know what? I had enough building for now. A few more parts left. I gotta do this one real slow because I'm gonna start running out of stuff to build anyway. So I'm satisfied right there. Back to paint. <laughs> I don't want to get through these long strikes too, too quickly until I'm like actually getting ready to paint them. I'm gonna pull this down. 
Man. All right, wet palette's already getting kind of mix up this nice watery paint here. This is the bright neutral gray, as always. from yesterday so we're gonna save that bring the annihilator back now we're really underway <sighs> man I ate way too much for dinner feeling rough right now um, so that bold titanium white making another appearance tonight Scrape some of this off so it's not like getting bits of hardened paint all over the place. Can I just like this brush that I can use? Go like that. Transparent white, you need more of this. Welcome to white paint now. Excellent. Get that going out there. All right, we're good. Yeah, I think this. Um, right there. I kind of got a sense that this bright neutral gray might have like broken, like it may have absorbed too much water and now the medium is not going to hold it together, but we'll see, I guess. So a few things that I do here, I just got to just darken this down a little bit. A little more like evening out of this blend that I got to do here. This is fairly easy. There's not too much to do to this. Just that and then So this part I've been just thoroughly unsatisfied with so far. So I'm actually gonna gray this over quite a bit. like this here then what I want to do here is actually do this get this out this nice fresh paint here I'm actually gonna completely wipe this over and just blend it up like you might here Like it's getting brighter towards the top. This stuff just generally unsatisfied with how I did that blend, so sometimes you just gotta redo it just the way it is. It's not really the actual blend itself, it was just the positioning of it. I felt like I put the blend in, or I put the highlight in a weird spot. down here just gonna completely whiten this up here that'll be alright like that and these are generally okay I think but I will I just smooth that just a tad. Then same with here. So I got frickin' dust on my brush. <laughs> not even on my brush, a piece of dust just like floated in out of the ether and landed on my model. Gotta love it. I think that's all right for now.
That's all right. Coming along. So this I actually just need to go like so. This I pretty much need to just start blending up a little. It's gray, I actually want this to be a just need a little bit more gray up here. lot of guesswork on this and a lot of screwing up and trying over with this one just because I tried something new and it just didn't really work out like the actual the, the highlight I was going for just didn't work out and didn't really like how it was looking didn't like how it was turning out It's a great thing though, you don't like how it's turning out. If you keep using you keep your paint thin enough, you can pretty much just always do it over. Roll it straight back. This is already looking a bit better in terms of like the actual pattern that I'm blending it. Or that I'm highlighting it at. Way better looking. Yep. 10 times better. Let that dry out. These are all fine. Start on this side here. Am I? I'm not. I have to move this just a little bit over. There we go. Get a better angle there. Eventually, I want to get to like a better scheme for highlighting, just better color scheme, like maybe multiple layers of color, like maybe layer some blues in or something to make it look more like a sunlight reflection, but I have not got there yet, that's for sure. I'm worried that if I layer too much blue and it's going to look like chrome or something, like a non-metallic chrome. Although, you really have to do horizons to make stuff look like chrome. So maybe that's nothing to worry about.
here. I gotta go back to this one just briefly. Kind of just like lighten that down just a little bit. Whatever, it's pretty white, but that's fine. Put this here. We'll call that one done for now. I'm not like, it's good enough. It's good enough. This, I'm not going to spend hundreds of hours on this shit. It's fine. I think this one actually needs to come right up here like this. Also right down here like this. second I'm holding this guy way too far over here I gotta move this over just a tad still got the corner of the palette but now I can hold this guy a little bit more centered and ideally ideally he'll stay in the camera a little bit better These I just start yeah, highlighting up as usual. So this has got to clean up the lining here, like the shadowing. Put on the edge of that gold just slightly.
All right. Coming along. Here, basically, just trying to smooth this out a little bit, make this look sort of naturally shaded, shadowed, shaded, shaded if possible, but maybe not due to skill issue. I feel like I end up heavy breathing a lot while I'm painting because I'm just like freaking holding my breath for 15 seconds and then all of a sudden I gotta breathe heavily for hours. Spend the rest of the night heavy breathing into the mic. I'm never happy with these leg plates, honestly. I don't really know what to do with them. Oh, I get so much trouble. I need to look at some examples of how other people paint them.
whatever. That's fine. Maybe I'll revisit those later, maybe not, we'll see. It's better than knee plate now. I think it's just going to be like sort of like a top curving sort of highlight like this, I think, and then I'll take it right up to the metal. Nice round highlight on the knee. We have just a little bit uh, wider in the center, like this. Also, like pull this down just a tad, like so. Boom, no problem. And from there, I'll work up a bit of a blend there. do here is also start shading the face I have to let that one sit this one you shake this one up you have to let it sit for a minute this one always bubbles up I don't know why the dark warm gray bubbles up like crazy when you open after you shake it so let me take a look down at these things here I kind of think I'm gonna start on the, the Front of the shoes, maybe. I'm gonna try and keep a lot going on at once with these uh, annihilators. Or with just any model really. I try and do like all different parts at once. So I'm constantly like looking at places or I've missed something or these boys will go right around the edge here like this and then blend it up as we go. Under here, it doesn't need quite as much. Awkward angle here, though. Holy. That nice and clean. The inside under that ankle, I'm not going to do. Hmm, weird. I'll do the outside here. That's fine. There's a tiny little bit there. Then here I'm just gonna do a little bit of You doing Tarkov, Oscar?
All right. Shoes are kind of highlighted in a little bit there. Where was I? The knee, right, 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 the knee. So in theory, if I go like this now, I got a big glob of this on here. Nice watered down. Uh, bold titanium white, and then down here, I got some of this. Got a nice wet blend. The knees are good for wet blending because they're nice and round. It's easy to get those blends off kind of smooth. Really wet that up. Drag the blend down just a little bit here. grazing and kind of a little bit less gray. I just move up a bit of gray from the underside of that knee there. I don't know if that's in the camera, but bottom of the knee we want it to be nice and gray and then yeah we kind of just want to blend it up as we go. There we go. All right, well from there, it's just a few easy glazes over top. A little bit more than that. From here, basically, you know, like this. Keep pulling that towards the center and the top, basically. So just gonna try and get that nice little weight up there and then we'll really get a little highlight over that in a minute. That's smoothing out a little bit. And just down here, I just got a glaze this one down to the gray. The underside there. And I'm going to smooth it over with. Transparent white. I'll give that a second to dry. That knee is already looking pretty good like that. It's starting to look pretty smooth. I don't know if you can see with all that bright light on there, but that that highlight is starting to look right. Wish I could do a better job with his leg plates, honestly. Maybe I can. Maybe I can go back and fiddle with them for another 25 minutes. Uh, realistically. I 
that's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's dry. Good little hoot of that. A little bit less, maybe. Good thick layer up here. So I'm sure where that is. Really wish the uh, transparent white wasn't quite so thick. Like it dries fairly thin, but it just goes on really thick. Kind of makes it hard to tell what's going on sometimes. Hard to tell exactly how much paint you're putting on there and how it's going to look when it's dry. You got to kind of get a feel for it. That right there is already looking pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with that already. Smooth it out a little bit more and then just do like a nice watered down top highlight here on the brightest points. Like so. Try across the top here maybe. Not like the top top, like the uh, just below the actual shadow. All right, got a nice sort of shaded knee there. Shaded or faded or whatever, I may do one more band here. All right, pretty happy with that knee, I think. Once that dries down, that'll look pretty good. 
should be fine. Most of this stuff, if it looks a little bit rough or if like there's some like thick chunks of paint, when you varnish these things, they almost always like smooth right out. Varnish covers a lot of like rough paint texture I found. Not that I should be relying on varnish, but should always be trying to put the paint on smoother and in thinner coats and stuff. But I have found that varnish does do a pretty good job of hiding rough paint texture. bottom of this bottle of gray it's almost empty to crack the new one soon tiny bit of this literally like the tiniest amount of this dark warm gray because this is literally just for the face basically what I have to do and this stuff will absolutely turn to like straight soup on the on the wet palette but Basically trying to fix a little bit of uneven shading on the face here because I'm going to be painting the face pretty soon. A little bit of uneven shadow there. Back looks fine to me. Oh, hey, what's up? Yo, thanks for the raid. Heroes assemble. Oh my god, I've never had this many people in chat at once. Yo, what channel are you guys from? Uh, Heroes Brush Hour. Sweet, thanks for the raid, Heroes Brush Hour. Hello, Heroes. <laughs> Here's what I'm working on right now. This is a Annihilator for my Knights Excelsior army. <laughs> going real slow right now. Yo, thanks for the follow. Uh, let's say I got two new follows here. Psychosis. I'm probably going to pronounce all of it wrong. Octurp. And Serena's Arena. Thanks for the follows, you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm trying. I'm still still learning how to like highlight properly. I find like you know these nice round, easy knees and stuff like that. You know, nice round, uh, nice round plates. You know, really easy. But then like I get some of these like underside ones or the backs. I have no idea how to highlight these backs. <laughs> was I doing let's see oh yeah I was just getting paint though yeah yeah so I'm just shading down the face right now I'm just doing some uh, sort of dark shadows here and then I'll, I'll sort of brighten it all back up but I'll try and keep it in the camera I'm left-handed so I never know where to put the camera I don't know if that actually makes a difference but so I basically want to get some dark shadows under the nose here and then as I highlight up I'll clean up all these shadows Mostly around the nose, and then I'll get a little dark bit under the chin here. Like under the lip, I guess. Duct tape the cow in my forehead. Yeah. I'll get one of those, uh, I've seen people with like glasses that have like, uh, glasses with a camera in the middle or something like that. You know, like some spy glasses or something. Yeah, I get the zoom glasses. <laughs> I'd probably be smacking my head against the model because I'm sitting here holding it right up to my face though. Let's see. I totally forgot what I was doing. Uh, okay, yeah, so I did the shading there. I'm just gonna let that dry. Um, after the knee, I was just gonna clean up the hands a little bit. I'm trying to get all the little tiny like fiddly bits out of the way. Hey, thanks, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate the raid, too. I'll, uh, 
I'll come give your channel a follow or uh, channel a follow uh, once I'm done here. <laughs> And turn that around. Pretty much just trying to get all these little fiddly bits out of the way here. Hands and stuff, just so I don't have to do them later. I always put them off to the very end. Notice all my models here. I've started doing base coats on these retributors. They're still a work in progress, but I haven't done any of the hands or feet because they're like, <laughs> I don't know, it's like I'll leave the fingers to the end, you know? I always leave like the weird little like tedious bits to the very end. Not sure if it's a good habit or a bad habit. Leave them to the point in the painting where I've eaten the absolute most paint I could possibly eat, you know? Sucked about half a bottle of paint off the end of my brush at this point. Let's see, a few under here, weird little shapes and fingers, finger plates. Also, oh, sorry my mic's a little bit weird. I noticed on my last VOD there was like some issues with the sound quality of my mic. I got a $3 microphone that I got clipped on right here and I think it's because I had it clipped to my phone but uh, if, if there's a weird gargling noise coming from my mic it's just because I got a real cheap mic. <laughs> Gonna get a better one eventually probably or just replace the same $3 mic. For $3 it's probably worth it just let them wear out and buy another one you know. take all those savings and spend them on more paints and models. Okay, perfect. I don't even need a new mic. I'm gonna tell you audio and video quality. Oh, background mode. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to play music. I got my laptop over here, so when I play music through my laptop, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't figured out a good uh, good way to play music and not have it come through the speakers. Maybe if I play like, uh, yeah, like get some headphones or something. I'll try and get that set up, uh, figure that out for the next stream. I'm very new to streaming painting i just started streaming painting maybe a week or two ago so still trying to figure out all the details uh yeah i got stream labs um i've streamed like i've streamed video games before but i'm still like the painting setup is like totally new I'm trying to figure out like cameras and stuff like that and so yeah i got stream labs obs and then i had like i'm just using my phone here as a camera but uh, i had like ip webcam or something but it was super choppy so just yesterday i switched to droid cam which seems better because it can do USB, um, like USB streaming straight to my laptop. Some about streaming over Wi-Fi was making the other one really choppy. Okay, turn off monitor. Oh, okay. So I can do that through Streamlabs. I just disable monitoring in Streamlabs. Okay, cool. I'll play around with that after the stream and hopefully uh, hopefully get something up and running because that's definitely something I wanted to do, just like some like mild background noise to hide like uh, any like weird, weird background sounds or buzzing, some of this weird buzzing that comes from my fridge and painting in the middle of my kitchen right now. So 
well, not in the middle of my kitchen, sort of the dining room, you know. Painting space is limited for the time being. <laughs> yeah, true. Fly over to the fridge and rifle around in there at any point. Yeah, definitely streaming painting in particular has been like a bit of a setup thing. I've been like fiddling with like uh, camera angles. Like, oh man, I don't know how people keep consistent. I've watched some other like painting streams. Some people are so good about like keeping the camera angle consistent, keeping the model in the frame. Half the time I'll be painting and I'll look and the model's like way out here. You know, I'm just streaming my wrist pretty much. <laughs> Eighty percent of the time, you're just getting a good view of my wrist. So. I am improving though. Got a got a better camera set up. Weird little tripod thing. So do you have like a show on Twitch or something? Or are you uh do you do you paint as well? Heroes Brush Hour sounds like the name of a TV show or something, you know? Speed hour competition show. Oh, cool. So like speed painting? Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> Speed painting is not what I do. I can sometimes, but you know, most of the times I spend like a month on a three-man squad of annihilators. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be kind of stressful, you know? <laughs> oh, it might be a fun challenge for sure, huh? Oh, I'm outside of the camera there, yep. Yeah, it sounds like it would get uh, quite chaotic. Yeah, different skill set for sure. I've tried like speed painting, like orcs. Like I got some orcs in like my, uh, I had the starter box and uh, I was trying to speed paint those, but even that, like I didn't feel like I was actually speed painting. I see people paint stuff, yeah, like painting a whole mini in an hour. That's crazy, especially while people are doing stuff. Definitely something I feel like I should be trying to practice and improve at, but. So is your show on every night or is it, um, is it like uh, a weekly thing or? Tuesdays at nine, uh, central. Okay, I'm on Pacific, so I think that's two hours ahead. So if it's, yeah, yeah, it's gotta be two hours ahead or one hour, I'm not sure. Okay, nice, maybe I'll drop in and uh, drop in and check it out next time. Sounds like it'll be, uh, sounds like it'll be fun to watch. Yeah, for sure. Do you post VODs on YouTube? Do you have a YouTube channel too? <laughs> Alright, sounds good, dude. Have a good night. Uh, I really appreciate the raid.
and uh, everyone in chat, hope you're having a good night. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Hope you uh, stick around and hang out if you want, you know? I don't think I'll be finishing this Annihilator tonight, but I'm gonna keep uh, keep chugging away. Yeah, I'll definitely check, uh, I'll check out your channel. I'll give you a follow after, uh, after the stream. Thanks, man. So I've moved on to uh, highlighting these fingers. So I'll have to clean up a few of the little like shadows in between them after, but I'm just doing the white um, bright points. These ones I just do like a, I don't know what you call it, like a, not, I guess sort of an edge highlight, just like a top highlight, just like the brightest points on the fingers. I don't do any blends or anything on these. They're just too small, and I think if you just if you just do like a normal highlight on these, it looks totally fine. Uh, and usually I just do the tops or the parts that like the light would hit. So like I won't do these underside ones. Mostly just the thumb on this side. The thumbs here. I'll just actually just edge highlight this big thumb plate. Try not to touch the model while I'm painting it, but really, this one's so awkward. Ugh. Gotta get a different brush grip here. Try and keep it in the camera. Always trying to brace my hands. Like if I'm holding like this, I'll always try and keep my palms braced like that. Then keep my elbows braced to my side. I think I picked up in some YouTube video, I think. <laughs> Before I was just wildly swinging my arms around. And then this, I'll just do a little bit of like a, a little like light line down the middle or something, some kind of like little triangle shape or something maybe. A little, little bit brighter up top here. Or an edge on it. Then like that. I think that's fine for that. Just gotta do these fingers here. And just like straight highlights on here and then these these knuckles will probably catch a bit of light here so I'll just do like the edges of the knuckles oh god this one's stressful <laughs> try not to breathe ah. oh good lord Just a little tiny one. Like that, those are sort of like, I think highlighted up all right. All right. Mm, maybe I gotta just do a little bit more on these ones. They're looking like a little bit spotty or something. I don't know, the texture's a little bit uneven. I can't tell what it is, but get a little bit more white paint on there. Get those ones to look nice and smooth. Make sure the model's still in the camera. Still not too... There we go, that's what I needed. Just a little bit more paint on the brush. Okay, sick. Um, that's all right. That's all right. I had some black paint on my palette, but it sat overnight and it has turned to like literal soup. As you can see over here, it's just like a pool of black water at this point. Some paints hold out better overnight on the wet palette. 
than others. Best seems to be the white, like the good old bold titanium white holds out pretty good overnight if I just leave it, but for some reason the the black paint from Pro Acryl just turns to liquid once uh, once it sits out for a couple hours. There was not that much paint on the palette last night, that's for sure. Just soaked up so much water. Just gonna clean these up a little bit more, like the edges down here and stuff like this. Trying them to look nice and straight and hmm. I want to like just do like a black bar along that gold there, like just like a black line there, kind of like where there might be a a gap or something. I'll do the same up here. Hopefully, I don't screw up the fingers at all. Or the gold. Nope. Pretty happy with that. My hands are looking pretty clean there. It's just shaking my brush around in midair, not actually washing it there. Um, there, so the hands are pretty much done at this point, I think. Uh, I was waiting for that knee to dry before, and I think the knee is looking pretty good there. Sometimes, I, man, the lights are so bright, I gotta turn some of these lights off sometimes to actually see the, see the blend. And even then, it's still a little bit bright sometimes, but I think I'm pretty happy with that. So the leg plates are done, or I mean the hip plates, these two hip plates, that knee. Luckily this guy's only got one knee, so, I mean one white knee. The golden line knee is pretty sweet. So I was working on the feet before. I find the feet kind of tedious, so I kind of want to finish them off tonight. This is the last annihilator of my well, the unit that I'm working on right now is just the prime left, so once this guy's done, I'll be carrying on and finishing off Retributors. Then I got Vandis here. He's uh, built. I think he'll probably be next, unless something else uh, pops into my head, but I have a bit of conversion work to do on him. I'm going to fix a Annihilator shield onto his arm and putty it up and stuff. make it look like a storm shield just so I can use him as the nameless or, or the unnamed character. The uh, Lord, Lord Celestine on Dracoth, I think, is uh, the unnamed one. Or like the non-unique version or whatever. There's a good chance we painted some Underworlds Warbands in the meantime though. They're bringing that uh, that four-man Underworlds or four Warband Underworlds box back um, with like Molig's Mob and stuff. The one with the uh, the Goblins. It's got two Goblin Warbands, which I'm pretty excited for. I wanted to start picking up some Gloom Spike Gits um, at some point, and that is a good opportunity. So... So these feet, I just highlight them up towards the center like this. So it's just gonna start. It's not gonna be like a super strong highlight or anything. Basically just gonna use a little bit of watered down paint. It's kind of like, just like a glaze. And then from the top a little bit too. I'll start with that just to get the rough shape. A little heavier than I need to. And then I'll work my way back down. I'm by no means an expert at any of this. I just been figuring out like my own way of doing white armor and highlights and stuff on these guys. So just always trying to improve my own personal paint jobs. A little bit along the top, a little bit there. Then I'll blend that up. 
as I go. I'm gonna just trace out a highlight on this side as well. Try and keep that in the camera, yeah, there it is. Can't believe it's already almost nine. Just trace that out a little bit there. Get that basic shape laid in here and then I'll do the same sort of thing here but this one I kind of just go like diagonal across the face and like up towards the top and this top will definitely just be solid like that then the one up here is just just an anti-light honestly this one would just be I may do like a little bit of extra like a thicker edge highlight but the ones under the uh, the ones under the ankle thing are pretty much always just edge highlight. And we're gonna go on, on this side as well, kind of here, just a little bit. This one doesn't need to be too too bright or too thick for now, because yeah, I'll blend that up. It's just to trace out the the rough shape of it, and then over on this side as well. This one's on the inside, so it gets a little bit less highlighting. It would be a little bit shaded by his leg. Assuming there's more light hitting on the outside. And hit like this, a little bit on the top there. And maybe down here, just a tad like that. Diagonal there. And then just a little bit across this corner here. Be very happy once the feet are done. I find it always like kind of finicky. The faces, surprisingly, on these guys are not too bad to paint. I always kind of dread the faces, but uh, the Annihilator faces are like pretty solid, rectangular shape. Blocky, nice blocky Annihilator heads, you know? Cube head Annihilators. Makes the highlighting kind of easy. Get a little bit more paint out here. Mostly using Pro Acryl stuff right now, but I do use some Games Workshop stuff for uh, for like metallics, metallics and washes and stuff like that. Uh, really like the Games Workshop metallics; they're pretty nice. Just blend that up a little bit, or glaze, glaze, I guess it's the technique. I think it's glazing. It's my, my best attempt at glazing. I watched one video tutorial and just kind of went, kind of went hog wild and started calling it glazing, but I'm not actually sure if that's what I'm doing. If they need to pick up like some mediums or something, I, uh, I've heard mediums are better than water because water like breaks the breaks the pigment or something. 
I saw in a video or something. Someone was someone was talking about that that mediums are just generally better for like thinning down your paints and stuff because water will break the pigment apart and make it like less even or so, something like that. I don't want to uh, don't want to say anything that's easily verifiably false, you know. But I have been wanting to mess around with like different different types of mediums for uh, these guys to see if there's uh, see if there's anything better for like getting smoother blends stuff like that. I'm always trying to get smoother blends on these white plates. Slowly improving, but it's a very slow process. That's for sure. And it seems to be getting slower. As I go. The more I practice, the more I feel like I don't understand. Alrighty. Sort of getting there. A little more over here. Same with here. Even this one, I'm actually just get a little bit more on that. So show it towards the end here. This one I may do something like this. Just a little sharp corner or something. I don't know. That seems okay. And this just cut across that corner a little bit too. That highlight is fade that a little bit. that blurry I got this set to continuous autofocus but definitely like there's I don't have a super good cell phone I kind of got like a budget phone um, so the camera the camera is okay on it but it definitely doesn't focus super quickly sometimes and it seems like the left side of the camera here has like way better and way sharper focus if I hold on the right side it's just like pretty much super blurry but left side man left side's perfect look at that crisp clean uh, ah, shit. I forgot to do the inside of his right foot here. Boom, boom, boom. Slowly but surely. Blend that up a little bit. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this that I haven't discovered. I'm absolutely positive there is, but as, as it is right now, it's a very slow and tedious process. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be fast enough to try out for a hero's brush hour, you know? I'm actually, uh, actually interested in checking it out. I, uh, yeah, I'd never heard of it before. It sounds like a pretty entertaining show. I'm always looking for good painting content. More Warhammer content to watch on YouTube. A little bit of scuff under here. It's just 
like uneven or something. I don't know. This one line it on this one turned out a little bit uneven. There we go. That's better. A little bit more here. Okay. Once that's done, I just take this transparent white. I've been messing around with this a lot lately to just try and fake my fake my blends, but trying to speed up making a uh, nice looking blends. It's like pro curl paint that I saw at uh, the store nearby. It seems to be okay, but you need to put a lot of layers on. And sometimes it has a consistency of like Elmer's glue. But I've actually been kind of liking the way it, it looks if I just cake enough of it over top in like a few thin layers. Kind of just creates this like fake smooth transition between the white and the gray. I almost wonder if I had like a different gray color whether it would actually look smoother. I wonder if I need like some kind of blue gray to go um, to go underneath the white instead of like this like harsh sort of dark gray. I don't know. I'm thinking about that. Oh, Christ. The random piece of dust just floated down into my paint. I gotta dig it out with the tiny X Acto knife. Get out of there, dust. Not even a tiny piece. That is like a, a thread, a fiber of dust. Well, that just screwed everything up. Oh, man. Where's my like, good thick brush here? I gotta redo that part. Give me a second. I'm just gonna flood this out and get that dust off. That's always fun. Um, let me see. I got a brush I can use to scrape that off. I'll use this one here. Nothing like random dust to just like float down and interfere with your painting. I love it. Truly a curse. Nah, I think it's just this apartment. Um, my apartment's like really dusty. <laughs> just soak all that out of there. I gotta let that dry now. The paint's just gonna go everywhere if I try and paint uh, while it's wet like that, but it didn't screw it up too badly. I'll just have to touch that up a tiny bit, but I keep going over on this side. Yeah, my apartment's really dusty, so I definitely have uh, been waging a slow and meticulous war on dust. I need to get like an air purifier or something. Something that pulls the dust out of the air. A de-dustifier. A thick layer of that should be good and then down here a little bit where that is and then right here and then yeah I'll just edge highlight that back up oh shit I got here damn you get out of there that's fine okay sick everything is coming apart Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze for a second. The dust was unhappy about me uh, speaking ill of it. So it's trying to make me sneeze. That's gonna have to do for now. I gotta let both those feet dry. And then I just gotta touch this up a little bit. What's the next part? What can I do while those feet are drying? I can clean up the backs of these. I think that's a good. Clean up this. 
here. Ideally without getting paint all over the already finished and highlighted leather that I have going on here. Leather boots here. Try not to screw those up. That's okay. Getting a little bit close to that leather. I'm not too happy with that, but it's okay. Not sure if you'll be able to see this angle on the camera. Hmm. Maybe that's okay. Just doing underneath these uh, these ankle things. And over here as well. Let's see. Oh, sorry. That is yeah. That's off the camera there. Let me get a different grip here so I can keep it in the. Keep it in view. I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can sort of see that. Cool, cool, cool. You got a lot of yeah, I got a few. Yeah, got uh, eight or nine right now. Yeah, I got raided by uh, another channel. A painting channel? Yeah. That's cool. Who, who owns the channel? Uh, I think it's a, it's like a Twitch show. They, it's like a speed painting show where they like speed paint the different challenges and stuff. Oh, well that's really cool. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, Very focused right now, trying not to get any paint on the leather here. <gasps> oh, difficult. All right. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. I have like I need a little correction I gotta make on this one. And hopefully I can do this without messing up the leather. Yes, I can. Beautiful. Also here, under here, I gotta, I'm like annoyed because I, when I did the leather, I didn't clean up the, uh, I didn't clean up the red under here, which I probably should have, but I think it's okay for now. I should be able to do that without messing up the leather too badly. Yeah, that's fine. That's close enough. Even if it's a little bit scuffed, that's on the underside. And I don't want to risk screwing up a, like a, a super visible part of the model for a nearly invisible part of the model. So I think this is all I'm going to do with this. It's almost never worth it. Like to get too, too fiddly and like try and crack stuff that's not very visible. Like a risk reward sort of thing. All right. So, a little bit more to do here. I just gotta, I have that transparent white on there. I can see the last few parts of this that were a little bit rough. So I can actually correct these. And I can correct this one that like was got dusty and then got too wet to actually paint over because I had to wash the dust off. Everything is coming back together. Look at the one piece of dust derailed me for like 15 minutes. <laughs> that is the way it goes though. All right. 
clean that up just a little bit, brighten that up. Nice, this is coming together real good. Clean that up a bit, yeah, look at that. All right, just uh, one more pass of the transparent white and then I'll, uh, I'll call these feet done. So it's just gonna be thin here, thin coat. Oh, I gotta remember to keep it on the left side here. <laughs> Just a little bit more here on this other side too. Um, here. There we go. The inside here, get a little bit of that off. More of that off the brush. That's generally okay like that. A little is dry. Alrighty. So there's the feet done. Today, I finished up these hip plates, finished the feet, did the hands, got the helmet prepped for uh, painting. I think tomorrow I'll probably try and polish off all of the rest of the leg plates. It's coming along. I think I got maybe two or three more days on this guy and then I got the full unit of annihilators done. I'll try and get a good view here real quick. There we go. Both sides. So yeah, all these back plates still need to be highlighted up. They take a little while. I find it'd be kind of difficult sometimes. But yeah, um, I gotta go do some chores and stuff before bed. Uh, I really appreciate all you guys from Heroes Brush Hour dropping in and watching. Um, if you enjoy the stream, yeah, um, follow me. I'll uh, usually paint around like 7 p.m. most weeknights, sometimes on weekends, you know, give or take, sometimes I miss a day, but not too often. Um, yeah, I'm working, working a lot on Stormcast right now and uh, I'll probably be painting a lot of Underworld's Warbands, maybe some Cruel Boys, hopefully some Gloom Spike Gits at some point. But that is uh, <laughs> depending on uh, whether I have the budget for more Warhammer sometime soon, you know? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks a lot for uh, coming and hanging out, you guys. Really appreciate it. Maybe I'll see you in the uh, Heroes Brush Hour chat next week. I'm going to try and catch their show. Have a good night, everyone.